Net Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we're gonna play Mistfall Chronicles, Chronicles of Frost. Frost. Okay, so Chronicles of Frost is a um, game for one to four players, an adventure game. Yes. Um, designed by Blazej Kubaki mm -hmm. and published by NSK Games. Yep. In the Mistfall universe. Indeed. Um, and plays in about an hour or so. I'd Takes say. us a little less than that. But. With two. Yeah. So, all right. Let's get this to the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right. Welcome to the table. Misfall Chronicles of Frost. Mm. Set up for two players. What do we have here? Okay. So, what is Misfall Chronicles of Frost? We are two of the heroes of Mistfall adventuring, like in... In the Frost. In the Chronicle, well, no, not really in Frost. <laughs> but we are adventuring out into the lands, trying to achieve uh, and complete quests, right? Yes. So the way this game, we'll, we'll go through setup really quick. Um, we'll go over our quests, our character choices, and then we're going to jump right into the game um, mm -hmm. so that we're not spending an hour explaining everything here. Uh, so what do we have? In the center of the table, what you see is our starting location. This is called the Hearthfire Inn. This will always be the starting center location in this game. We're going to be exploring new locations, fighting monsters, and trying to achieve um, different objectives for two different quests that we've each selected randomly out of the box. Uh, the heroes we chose, I've got the Arcane Wizard. And I have the Mist Huntress. Mist Huntress. Uh, each hero comes with their own deck of cards, their starter hand and starter deck, uh, that will have skills that are more... Uh, finely tuned to that specific class, right? A specific set of a skills. A specific set of skills. So we have, uh, we have them. I've got miniatures uh, representing them. These are the actual um, heart, uh, Mistfall, uh, Heart of the Mist, and Shadowscape miniatures from the miniature pack that, that we've from had. From our own personal collection. From my collection, yes. From the, uh, we actually got them with Shadowscape. So in any case, those are them on the board. Uh, easier to track for us. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking turns and we're going to get we're going to go through three different phases on your on your player turn. The first phase is going to be an action phase where we're going to be playing cards to do actions such as scouting new locations, moving to those locations, attacking monsters, or making purchases with resolve, which is the currency, from the fate advanced fate deck offer. So there's two fate decks. One of them uh, has sort of the cheaper fate cards, and one of them has a little bit more expensive fate cards. Uh, and we start the game with four of them revealed from each supply. We have four hirelings that are going to be available to hire and put into our player area to get one use, and then they'll go back to the uh, back to the supply. Those can be purchased only from this in location here. We each have um, two quests, as we noted, mm -hmm. and we'll just go over those real quick so that you sort of understand where we're heading. Yeah, what we're trying to do. What our goals are for this game. So my quest, uh, and we're, there's two different types of quests. There's exploration quests and there's search quests, and each quest has multiple chapters. So the exploration quests come uh, with two chapters to complete, and they're more or less just going to certain locations on the board and performing certain actions or spending certain uh, currencies. So mine is called Light the Beacons. The beacons have always served those who brave the mists. Light the first beacon. So my quest is to light the first beacon. And I was going to give you a little map, and the, the land is going to be in a 5x5 five five grid with the inn at the very center. So based on this map, the, um, the location, uh, these cards are double-sided depending on what side of the table you're sitting yeah. on. So if you're actually <laughs> sitting on the opposite side of the table, uh, it, it helps you to, to see it that way. But since we are on the normal side of the table, north is going to be up. And in this case, I've got to go southwest and spend three resolve, and that'll complete chapter one of this quest. So what is your exploration quest? Um, my exploration quest is hidden bows. So raids around this location happen to be more and more often. Time to find the culprits, and and this location is going to be the southernmost point of our map, which we will discover eventually. All right. So the search quests are slightly different. So this one's called Shield of the Lost. So a messenger from a remote village has just reported that a group of shield bearers that had set out to reinforce it never reached its destination. Now mm -hmm. it falls to you to retrace the steps of the lost soldiers. So I've got to find lost soldiers. Um, and I need to spend two search tokens in a, dread, in a Deadlands location. So um, oh. that'll be one of the three different types of locations that come out. Mm. And mine is to infiltrate Blackwood. So the clans of Blackwood have been silent under the rule of a new queen. 
Rumor has it that they will not stay that way for long. Apprehending a Blackwood sorcerer might provide precious insight. So I, too, have to spend two search tokens in a Borderlands location. Okay. So that's our goal. That's what we're each trying to do. Uh, the game's going to end as soon as one of us completes both of their quests. Right. We're going to get one more round. Game's going to be over. Uh, another way to end the game is if one of these fate decks is emptied, which I doubt that's going to happen in a two-player mm -hmm. game. So, or if the full five uh, by if five grid is built. built. And I don't think that's going to happen either. Um, we have our starting decks. We're going to take five cards. That's our starting hand, as with any deck builder. And mm -hmm. this is what we're going to be using to take our first actions. Now, um, the way these cards play, and I'll just go over that really quick so you understand how this works, is you're always going to have the benefit from the top part of the card. So in this case, Holy Zeal uh, will give you two movement, or you can discard one fatigue or one wound from your hero area, which is actually pretty nice. Um, but there are also additional um, benefits at the bottom of the card that need to be unlocked once it's in your hero area by paying either the skill symbol so as long as you have a token matching at least one of the symbols in this section you can activate it and that'll unlock these bottom abilities or you can pay in fatigue so you're like exhausting yourself a bit and then you'll end up putting two wound tokens on here uh, to unlock that second uh, set of abilities so that's how you would do it when you put it in your player so you can either play just for the top or you can try to unlock the bottom and play that as well to make it an even more powerful skill um, the way the game is going to score just so you understand there's a uh, an action called retiring a card. So think of it as sort of like burning a card, but it's more or less like scoring the card. So you're going to put this card off to the side in what you're going to call your chronicle. Uh, expended uh, monster tokens are going to go there, which can also be used to unlock the bottom portion, or they can be used to, to generate resolve, and you'll see that as we play. But if you choose to, to retire your card or your monster token, it's going to go in your chronicle, and it's going to be scored at the end of the game. The way you know what to score is, at the bottom of every card, there's going to be this number slash another number. If at the end of the game, this card is in your player area, either in your hand, your discard pile, or in your deck, you're going to get the number on the left. In this case, it'll be a 1. If you have put this card in the Chronicle before the end of the game, it will actually be worth 3. So it's more beneficial to do that, but it's also going to be putting a very powerful card out of play. So you need to know when to do that. So... That pretty much sums it. If we buy a card from the offer, it's going to go right into your discard pile for use later when you draw it. If we buy or hire a hireling, they're going to go right into play. But once they're used, you're going to exhaust them during cleanup. They're going to go back to the end. Done. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that is the down and dirty. Perfect. So without further ado, let's go write the Chronicles of Fraud. <laughs> All right. All right, you're going to be player one, so what are you going to do? All right, well, I think I'm going to start off by spending these two resolve and buying a hireling. You're going to hire a hireling? I'm going to hire a hireling. Well, which would you like? I'm going to call them halflings. Um, they're not hobbits. <laughs> That's another game, another theme <laughs> another altogether. Um, I will take... Bron the Wise. Bron the Wise. All right. Central. So he's going to join your, um, your merry gonna, band. He's going to, with his book. All right. And um, once per turn, he'll give me, well, really kind of once, he's going to give me two search. So I'm just going to keep him there for now. Right? Mm hmm And then uh, I think I will, I think I'll go ahead and move. So you're just going to so jump right at it. I'm going to jump right into it. And the way this works is, um, our move up, you know, like you said, we have to spend what's on the card where we're at. Yeah, so not, so moving in this not is... not like I have one movement, I'm going to move one. You basically have to pay to move out of a location. It's like the yeah. exit cost, and the exit cost in this case is a one, mm -hmm. and it gives you a boot or a fatigue, so you can pay it in either or. Right. So in this case, it's either one boot or one fatigue, and you paid in the boot. Yep. So. so I have to blind draw, is what that means. So I blind drew... A Borderlands location, which is actually perfect for me. Okay, and with every new location comes two things. Mm -hmm. First is the discovery, so you have the option to take that bonus, and it is? Yep, it is receive two um, resolve, and I'll take that. So that goes into your pool for this turn, and then you also get a Borderlands monster, which mm -hmm. is the Flame Caster. So when monsters are actually on your location, they really don't do anything. They don't attack you. They're just kind of there. Um, the only um, downfall to having them there is you do not get to take advantage of the rest ability of that location. So you forego mm -hmm. that. And they're usually pretty good. So 
Yeah. And you want to kill the monsters because they're worth a lot. Yeah, they're worth like really good points. Unfortunately, I don't have enough attack to try and kill any of those right now. Um, but let's see, what do I want to do? Okay, well. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do is this. I have two resolve I can spend, right? That's right. So I'm going to spend it right now mm -hmm. on Holy Light. Okay. And take that. You could spend more. What do you mean? Oh, you mean by... You could exhaust a bit and then actually unlock the bottoms of those cards and get even more. Get something even better. There's so much good like out the there. the Great Mace. Or the Bow of Bane. The Bow of Bane. That thing looks good. That's uh, only four. You could easily do that. Come on. Once per turn, you get one attack. Yeah, also it What's gets... What's the Great Mace? The Great Mace gives you once per turn, one attack. May only be used adjacent All right. an undead. An undead enemy. And you have to have either one of those symbols to unlock it, which right. you only start with yeah, the bow I symbol. The bow. And I only start with the, with the book. The shepherd book. Okay, 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 fine. Um, you talked to me into no, it. No, I was just offering suggestions i know i just yeah. mind you this is not a cooperative game but i know but the thing is i just i don't want to take all these hits. i know you don't like taking wounds that's like why i offered wounds. it because <laughs> i didn't think you're actually gonna do it i know i'm not i'm gonna hold off for now because i don't i'm not ready to take that many wounds right okay now. so you'd rather but buy the I am two i'm gonna take the holy light which is gonna give me two resolve okay right off the bat that's right fair. so that's gonna go into my discard right mm -hmm. Ooh, look and at that one then, can I switch it out? Nope. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> please. Um, all right. And then I am going to, since I'm in my Borderlands location, I'm going to go ahead and spend Braun the Wise. He's going to come in and save the day for all me. Right, so exhaust him. And he's going to use these two search mm -hmm. right here. Yep. Which is going to complete the first quest card of mine which is infiltrate blackwood and i did it so you infiltrated so, the blackwood so what is the reward um, the reward is move any one card from your discard pile into your hand oh, which wow. oh my goodness i have this card i just discarded. that's actually so pretty good end up right in my hand um and that's done so, so that goes into is, your chronicle yes okay. into my it'll be my first thing in my chronicle i guess over there very good so what is your second quest um second chapter search. rather Quest chapter two. Uh, Though you gained a foothold, there are still more questions than answers. You will need to consult lore masters and spies, some willing and some that will need a bit of convincing. Interesting. Uh, I have to go to a haven location. A haven? And spend three resolve. Oh, yeah. that's not bad. Okay, perfect. Good luck finding so, one of those. Yeah, I know. It's not like there's <laughs> one right to the north of me or anything. Um, okay, cool. So... So I'm not going to attack anything right now, um, but I think I will, I'll play this. This might probably be my last move. And I'll use my bow and arrow token here so that I can take these two scout actions. Okay. Well, I mean like the one scout action, but you always need a minimum of two. Yes, when scouting. Because you're drawing two cards and you're actually scouting out. So, um, ooh, that's pretty good. See, I don't have any health, so this is going to be better for me. I'll put this down here. All right, so okay. you scouted the location. It, yep. gets, it gets its monster, uh -huh. so this time you pulled out a cut purse. A cut purse. Yep, and your discoveries draw a card. Nice, so I will do that. Ooh, oh, nice. So what are you going to do? Uh, I thought that was your last action. Well, it was going to be, but all these things keep <laughs> happening. I'm going on a very cool adventure right now. Um, yeah, this is pretty neat because I just drew... See, if I if I don't spend these right now, I'm actually like going to clog up my hand for next time. That's yep. what I'm thinking. I might as well do it. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to spend these two. I have um, one, two. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I guess I could keep this in my hand because I want to spend a like a I'll take a wound for this yeah but it allows me to attack an enemy in an adjacent location all right which I want to do I want to attack him all right so he's got the way combat works is you have to just do enough damage for their attack value which is a two so two is enough to kill him uh, he would do one wound back to you if you were on the same location but since you're not you automatically yeah. kill him cool so now he's part of your hero area yep. yep and then I'll be able to use him for resolve or 
for some other Put stuff. Put unlock a skill, to, yeah. whatever you want. Exactly. So that goes there. And see, and I have some, I have resolve too. With him, I actually have three plus two. What else is out there? Anything cool? That bow for four. I you like. You really want me to have that bow? Ah, I it would. It is pretty good because you kind of get to have it out for a while. Mm hmm. Um,. It's a, it's an item. Yeah, items stay in your in your table in your because hero. Because I'm like area. the archer. I'm like the archer right? mistress. So spend your so you're gonna spend your uh, monster yeah, token. So he's, he's gonna, gonna go, go in my chronicle. Yep. Um, and then this will come out. This is like my new tool that I have, right? Yep. Um, I took my thing there. Well, I think I that goes that goes in your discard. Like anything you buy goes in your discard pile. Oh, this one. Okay, yeah. yeah, except for the hirelings. Yeah. Um. I think that's that's all. So I just have my one card left. All right. Yeah. So so that's action. Now you go to clean up. So you move all the wound tokens onto your player card. Oh, yeah. you know, right <laughs> back just, to the supply. Right off the board. <laughs> uh, take your skill token back yep. to your player card. Uh, all your cards back. go into this card. The hirelings go back mm -hmm. to the end. So he's done with you. Yep. And then I get to drop. I only have one wound, so it has no effect on my hand limit. So mm -hmm. I just still get to drop to five. Right, and you and the next after you do that, that's clean up. You would now do your rest action, but since there's a monster on this location, you I can't, can't you can't take advantage of the rest action here. So that ends your turn. That's a pretty long first turn. That was a very long first <laughs> turn, <laughs> actually. Uh yeah. So let me think about where I need to go because I've got a couple things, a couple things I need to take care of. You know what I'm gonna do right off the bat though? What's that? I'm gonna attack. Oh. So I'm gonna fire off two magic missiles. Magic missiles. Yep. And I'm going to charge one of them with my uh, my ability, my skill as a mage. That will allow me to attack one enemy in an adjacent location. So I got one, two, three attack. is enough to take out this flame caster, and she won't be able to hurt me. So I will take her into my hero area. And she's been dealt with. So now I do need to move. So I'm going to move once here because the exit cost is one and i'm going to hmm do i want to scout i think i want to scout so i'm going to scout for one i'm going to exhaust myself a bit to scout for two so if you don't mind drawing me two cards please okay and i will look up the next location and these are the same. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I will place the desecrated shrine there. No, oh, no, in the in oh, my you, search. Yeah, this one can go this in the one. card. Okay. Yep. So go. the desecrated shrine, I'm gonna put here. Bring him out. And what do we have? This is a bone warrior, and I've got my discovery bonus is going to be two resolve. Mm -hmm. So now I've got two resolve in my player pool, which is nice. Should I spend it? Oh, the amulet of power. Mm, I like the amulet of power. I do too. But what can I buy with two resolve? Not much. Do you have any more resolve in your hand? Uh, do I? Ha uh, I have one. There's stuff out there for two. Up there, the land, lie of the land. Right, that's a bow ability. I want it. I want one with a. Yeah, but you can still use the top. With a shepherd book on it. <laughs> yeah, the top's this not is very not a long game. I know, but that's not very <laughs> good. I don't really like that one. I'm gonna save up. Okay. I mean, I, wait, I've got two. You, you, have to you know what? I'm gonna spend this. This is worth three. Yeah. So I'll put him in my chronicle. So it's three, four, five. I'm gonna buy the amulet of power. Yeah. So this is an item. So that's gonna go in my discard. So I technically have one left, but I'm not going to spend it. So I'm just going to forego it. I'm going to end my turn. I can retire up to two cards, and if you retire two cards, you get to draw a card. But I'm not going to retire any cards at this point. I'm just going to do cleanup, so that's going to go here. This is going to go here. Oh, that, that's my rest. I couldn't do that now anyway. I would do that right now. Mm -hmm. But I only have one wound, so I'm still going to draw up to five. And here's my hand. I will shuffle my discard, and then I will kick this over to you because mm -hmm. my turn was much shorter. Okay. All right. All right. So 
I'm gonna spend one to move out of here up to this land and can we just go there at any time or do we have to use the that's kind of like a if you don't have anything else to do you can like, retreat but that, you can't take yeah. any actions once you do that you yeah. can treat to the end that's if fine. you're sort of trapped somewhere uh, yeah all right so i'm going to spend two resolve mm -hmm. plus one i'm going to pay oh, i'm going to take like a wound for an extra one so that i can spend three resolve at a haven location okay so um so i did this thing it's so my search quest chapter two all right um and I get to, my reward for this is I get to draw three cards and then discard two cards. Okay. So I'll do that right now. One, two, <gasps> three, yes. Uh, yeah. I'll discard those guys. All right. Okay. And uh, so that goes your your, uh, your chronicle. Yep. And what is the next chapter? And then chapter? my third and final chapter is the effort has paid off. Yes. Armed with knowledge of the true nature of the threat, you must create a base of operations and a forward outpost to be able to counter Blackwood sorcery. Spend four resolve in the empty inn location. Ooh, so you so need to I discover to, like, the empty inn. We did discover the empty inn. It's right there. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. This is too easy for yes. you. Uh, all right, cool. Nice. She cheats. So serendipitous that I have to really go there anyway. Um, all right, so that was my first deal. And then I'll take out my Bow of Bane. So there we go. Um, can I attack adjacent enemies? Oh, I just got rid of both of my... <laughs> guess oh, I'm not using that for any time. not fighting this soon. round. <laughs> guess I'm not fighting. Um... I do have these. I have three resolve that I could spend right now. Um, what do we have out there? Anything good? Hmm. Anything worth buying? Two movement. What do I need to spend for? So. Oh, I should have gotten. Probably should have gotten rid of that. Darn it. Just search. Is there anything out there that gives you like searching power? The top one, Lay of the Land. That actually oh, has a, a bow ability. Too, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Or one move. Yep. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. It only costs two resolve. Yeah. Only two. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll pay this guy. Oh, where are you putting that? What? Oh, where sorry. Where are you putting that? Right there. Um, and I'll take that. All right. Thing. Thank there you, you go. Um, and that's it. I'll just keep this extra. All right, so clean up. Resolve, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this goes here. These go to my discard. That guy stays out. He does. And I can rest here. We'll draw up to your hand right? first. Three. One moment, please. <laughs> I think the world's slowest shuffler. <laughs> yep. All right. Three, okay. And now you can rest. And that allows okay, you to... so I can discard up to three wounds, mm -hmm. which I will discard both of my wounds. And you could uh, store a card uh, um, or retire yeah, a card. I could. I could certainly do that. Mm. Okay, sure. I'll do that. I'll retire this card to my book. My okay. Book. So you're done. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to move one to here. And that is the first location for which I need to light a beacon. Mm. So I need beacon. to spend three resolve. And I will do that by exhausting one of these. One, two, three. And I will complete the lighting of the first beacon. Mm -hmm. which the reward is draw two cards or take a hireling for free. I'm going to draw two cards. One, two. All right, so this is going to go into my chronicle, and I've got the second chapter of lighting the beacon. The further from safety, the greater the guiding light has to be. Light the second beacon.
Mm. And that is, wow, way <laughs> up here. So I've got a ways to go. All right. Am I in a Dreadland location by any chance? You are in a Dreadland oh, location. Oh, so I might as well search for the shields, the lost shield bearer. So that's going to cost me two search. Exhaust myself again. Mm. No, you know what? I won't. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to use my book and do that instead. It's cheaper. There you go. All right. And I need to spend two search in this location. So I'm searching for these shield bearers. Um, and I'm not sure if I found them or not, but... Because I didn't, I get to discard one wound from my hero area. That's good. So I'll get rid of that. And chapter one is done, so I now move on to chapter two of Shields of the Lost. Seems that the small group had to stand against an overwhelming force. All you can do now is collect their bear shields to preserve the memory of their bravery and grow stronger in your resolve. So mm -hmm. now I need to go to a Wildlands location and spend three resolve. You need to find a Wildlands location. I do, but before I go there, what is this guy? Um, what is his strength? Four with one. Uh, he's four combat. He gives you. He only deals one damage. Though. All right. So That's I'm gonna spend all three of my attack cards and then exhaust one of them for four. Okay. One, two, three, four. So he's dead, but I do take a wound for that. And I will get this guy. And now I'm going to clean up. So I get three wounds here. My skill comes back. These guys go to my discard. And I draw up to four cards this time because I have three wounds. Mm -hmm. So the more wounds you get, the smaller your hand size is for the next turn. All right. And then I have the rest ability. So what does the rest ability do for me here? Uh, retire one enemy token, and you get to receive that um, skill. That's like, the, like the holy sun. symbol. Yeah, so skill. I'll do that. I return him, and I will gain. That's good. A skill. Awesome. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so my turn's done. All right. Cool. You're up. All right. So I am going to start off by moving. So I'll move down here for one, and then I'm going to spend this. Mm-hmm. And move out of this land. Yep, that's only one. Right, so that's only one. Not to be confused with just moving two. It just happens that they're both going right. To or you could have generated two and then moved one, right. and then moved one again. Yeah. Because right? you, you, what you generate as resources are in your pool. You just have to keep track of what okay. you're spending. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> All right, and then um, for my for my first exploration quest chapter, I have to be in that location. Um, and I need to spend a scout and two attacks. So I'll use my attack card and then I'll use my bow of bane. Okay. Um, to complete this. All right. So, so what do you get? Um, so I get to draw two cards or draw two location cards to discover an adjacent location. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Um... I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to draw cards because I'm going to draw up anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, then put a location out if you're going to move. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to draw cards. Maybe I can do something okay. else cool this this turn. All right. Nope, so, can't so do anything go ahead and uh, I guess chronicle that quest okay. and, and read so what your next done. one is. Um, I'm curious. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait, here we go. Nope, there we go. I thought down? I was like a lot luckier. It looked like it was here, but it's actually like way up here. Good. Um, so now you know where the bandit leader resides. Find him and reclaim stolen goods. Hmm. So I have to go like here and spend some stuff. So interesting. All right, what did I draw here? Because hmm. this one I actually have to, I do have to be in this empty land, but... I don't really have any resolve to spend. Um, and you keep killing all the monsters. I do. I need them. Yeah, I see that. Well, that's kind of crappy. All right. I guess I'm done for now. Okay, good. Um... All right, so uh, I guess you can clean up. Yeah. Clean 
house. Well, I'm going to move. <laughs> or not. <laughs> just one. I'm just going to move up one. Okay. That's all. Now I'm done. Okay. So all these go back. This goes back. This goes back. There. Yep. You refresh um, your weapon. This goes back there. And that's it. I'm right. going to draw up. Yep. And draw up to your five. But you get to retire up to two cards. If you retire two cards, you draw a card. Yeah. Ooh. No. I'm <laughs> not. Nope. <laughs> okay. Nope, not going to do that. Okay. Fair enough. Now I've got to get moving here. First thing I'm going to do is get my Amulet of Power out into play. Which gives me one attack or one resolve, pl or plus two attack. That's really good. But I need I need to get searching, so I'm going to play Farsight. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to charge it, uh, unlock it with nice. my you need two. book. So I'm going to get two. So two cards, please. And I don't want either of these locations. Mm hmm... hmm. That one's pretty cool. But I'll take this one. Okay. Blackwood Trail. And I'm going to bring out a Curse Bear. Nice, a Curse Bear. A Curse Bear. They're the worst kinds of bears. They are. They're such evil bears. Ooh, okay. This isn't really good. You know what? I'm going to do some more Farsight, but I'm going to... I really don't want to exhaust myself again. I just don't have the cards for it. That's the problem. Hmm. Mm, this is not good. Can you just move? <sighs> move where? Oh, move down? Yeah, just draw a blind. Theoretically, yes, but I don't really want to go down. That's my problem. Uh, um, you know right, what? Let me just move that. up this okay. turn. I'm just. Is it the one or two cost? Just one? It's just one. All right, so one move. I'll move up one. I'm going to end my turn here. I'm not going to do anything else. Okay. So I don't get to rest, but I'm going to, I'm just going to end my turn. Okay. Because I need more cards. I'm only going to get four cards this turn again mm -hmm. because I'm still hurt, which I think is killing yeah. me, but I need to head up. So, all right, we're in better shape now. Okay. Cool. You should just rest it. Going back there and rest it. Where was I? Down here. Right, but I uh, closer, oh, right? two moves, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. I can go there next turn, so okay. you can go. All right. Okay, so I'm going to start off by moving here. And then I'm going to spend two, three, four resolve in the empty inn okay. to finish my quest of infiltrate blackwood oh wow okay. which i have to do down at the empty inn and that's it what so, do they give you um i receive a skill token it's like the star with the monument on it the star with the monument on it <laughs> star okay. monument hat skill um star and, monument and then i may move to a haven location you mean the I book uh yeah it's like a book with a star in the middle of yeah, it yeah that's the book well, it kind of looks like a oh on here it looks like a book it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> it does look like that on the card okay all right, so I get that, and I get to move back to a haven location, which I will do. Okay. And that goes in and that my goes in your chronicle. chronicle. Nice. And I only have one card left, and I can't do, really do anything with it, so... Okay. Oh, wait. Bow of Bane. Huh. I guess I could use this. No. Ah, uh, Yes, I can use either one of these, right? Yes, you okay. only have to match one of the symbols. So I'm going to play this strike plus I'm going to put my arrow on here uh -huh. which gives me three attack plus I can attack one enemy adjacent location so I'll attack him for okay. three All right, yeah, I don't you... take any damage because I'm doing it from over here and you get it and he just kind of comes he's, into my he's, a he's joining the party now and that's it and I'm done okay so take all these back. no that doesn't go away your bow stays oh, out oh yeah bow of bane come back <laughs> the bow of looking. bane I like that I do too one. All right, so you can draw up five, and you're really yep. not going to do anything for rest. Yeah, so yeah. I'll go ahead and I need Full to I need to head. Yeah, I probably should have gone the other way. Because I may retire a card. I might do that. I should have gone the other way. All right, well, do I have scout? Yeah, so I'm going to scout 
uh, with some Farsight. Use my book. So I'm going to scout up. Could you hand me two cards, please? Mm-hmm. Now, you can spend more than just two scout here and get that many more cards, but I don't have more. So, all right, I can go back. I'm going to discover the Circle of Sorcery. Mm -hmm. uh, discovery, draw a card. And we also get a Gorin Warrior. All right, so I do get to draw a card for that. Who? All right, so... Oh, boy. What does he do to me? Four... He's got four combat, and he does... Hmm? One damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, eek. This is not good. I'm retiring this card, by the way, for my rest. From my. Okay, yeah, you get to okay. retire a card. I'd like to attack him, but I don't want to take so much damage. Can you do... Someone here that gives you one damage. Uh, Unless you're thinking you have to spend to attack him. Uh, I don't. I don't, technically. So, yeah, I guess I'll walk up there. What happened to your magic missiles? Uh, I have them, but I, I don't have my book, so I'm going to have to exhaust uh. myself. So I'll spend one exhaust to move out of this location up to the bear, if you will. Up here? Yep. And then I'm going to spend one, two, three. He's four damage. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and my amulet of power, which gives me plus one attack. So that's four damage. Mm -hmm. He's going to hit me for one, so I'm now at five wounds. But I get him. Okay. All right, so that leaves me with this. I'm in a Wildlands location, so I'm going to spend him which is three resolve, mm -hmm. to spend the three resolve for the Shields of the Lost. Oh, nice. And I could discard two wounds from my player area as a reward. Hmm. All right. So this chapter two is done. Good. All right. So that goes in my chronicle. And now I've got the third chapter of Shields of the Lost, and it says, The grim task of honoring the dead has just become a rescue mission. A shield bearer left for dead tells you of others. Taken to a camp hidden near an old battlefield. Mm -hmm. Only you can save them from a gruesome death. Spend four attack in the battlefield location. We don't have the battlefield out, no. do we? So I need to find that. You need to find that. All right. So I'm going to... I think I'm going to end my turn on this location. So that goes back. This goes back. These guys go in my discard. I have three wounds still, so I only get to draw up to four cards. One, two, three. What is my rest um, ability? Um, you can draw a card. Uh -huh. You may exchange a card from your hand for a card of equal or lower value from the offer. That's pretty cool. Whoa, yeah. I like that. <laughs> uh, whoa, but then again, let me see. It's, it says draw a card. Yes, you draw one card. You may exchange a card from your hand for a card of equal or lower value from the offer. Oh, well, see, I don't have any. Like, I'd have to draw a card that's actually worth something for this oh, to be right. worth something because I only yeah. have, like, starter cards. That stinks. Yeah, I really haven't bought a lot of cards. So that'll yeah. be my rest action. I don't get to heal anything, do I? No. All right. All right, so let's see if we can make this happen. I'm going to spend a resolve plus him to upgrade it. Okay. Right? So yeah. I can use two. You can use him to unlock it. And I'm going to buy... Why wouldn't you just use him as three? <laughs> what? Oh. He's I worth three on his own, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're really <laughs> nice. This is kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why? Oh, well. Well, whatever. Um, I hope the whole point is that I need that thing. I need that half guy. The you, second one. Oh, you want to hire this guy? Yeah, I want to hire that guy. So he is Sarath the Wanderer. Okay, Sarath so the Wanderer. He's only cost you two, so you have one left over. Okay. So well. he goes in your chronicle now. He does. Yes. I mean, just can you remember that? That you have one resolve? Yeah, I don't remember sure. I need it, but... All right, so I'm going to move one to get out of Haven, right? Using who? This guy. All right, so exhaust him. Okay. So you have one extra move left. And I'll move one to go up here. Okay. Okay. Then I'm in the right spot, right? 
Okay. Yep. Then I will spend my lay of the land for one search. Uh, no, you're not. You got to go Why? up one more. What do you mean? Because you're only in the one, one above, one oh, row above the the. Oh. You're not quite yeah. there yet. <laughs> oh darn it. Okay. Well, that stinks. Yeah, it's hard to see like where I'm supposed to be. So I'm not going to do that, I guess. I need one more movement. You can always spend exhaustion to move. You don't have to oh, spend Oh, that's move. right. Yeah, that's the one thing you can just oh, spend okay. exhaustion yeah, on. Yeah, 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 you're right. I'm just going to do that then. So I'll, I'll spend one of these mm -hmm. guys. Like, I'll take one of these. Yep. And, and then I'll you can just, just like, move. really push myself and be like, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> But, like, I have to do this now. And what is that? This is Discovery. Draw one card. All right. So what location do we have? We have the Noxious Morass. All right. The Morass. <laughs> All right. Bone Archer. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Interesting. It's noxious. It is pretty noxious. It usually is. Okay. Um, all right. So now I'm in the right Did spot, Did you draw right? a card? Uh, no, I you didn't. You get the discovery bonus. So. Oh, the discovery. It's a move. How ironic. Oh, excellent. Okay, great. Well, I don't need that. All right, so now I'll spend my search and this axe and this attack and my bow of bane. And three then attack I'm... and a search. Yeah, and that's and that's it. That's What's what the I did. reward? Um, draw three cards or draw three location cards to discover an adjacent location. Okay. Um, and I'm thinking about what I want to do here. I think I'd rather draw three cards. And what is this? Huh, interesting. Because I have a move. Yeah, I'm just going to draw three cards. Okay. See what I get here. Because if I can get enough, like... Move. Uh, that's done. End of my collection. Wow, you see the move cost to get out of there? It's three, three. I know. Three, that's because it's noxious. It's, it is noxious. That's really bad. It's obnoxious. Yeah, and I don't really have, like, any other... I have, like, one resolve, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, what's out there? Nothing for one resolve, that's for sure. Yeah, I know. I mean, I still have... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really for more for me to do, I guess. Oh, wait, I can attack this guy, maybe. How much is he? He's a three to attack? Mm-hmm. I can't attack him. Oh. I can't really... I mean, I could move out of there, but there's, like, no point to me actually moving out, you know? Um... Because it's going to cost me three to move out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I could scout ahead. Maybe I could discover something cool. All right. Give it a go. Where do you need to go? I need to go to the east. Oh, I won't be able to reveal anything for you. I'm sorry. Probably not, no. Okay. Well, I'll scout ahead anyway. Um, and I'll use my little thing to do that. Um, uh, moves this location, discard one of those things. Okay, <laughs> it's more dead morass. Mm. Okay, I get to move immediately into that location. Okay. There you go. Doesn't do anything, but... Alright, is that it? 
Yeah, it's up to you. If you're done, yeah. Um. Well, I'd like to like get rid of some of these cards into my chronicle, but I don't think that I can. You know. Yeah, I don't think you have the ability to. Like I, I would love to get back here. You know. Well, why don't I mean, you I move there? Move out. Just move down and then move down again. You have two moves. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't you just move down? Because it's going to cost me two to get out of there. Oh, uh, okay. Well, there you go. You know what I mean? Then, but then you could exhaust yourself again to get to the end. Yeah, that's true. Nice for what? Like one point? It depends on what this location is. Yeah. Discovery. Draw one card. Oh, well, see that? You can just draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The beauty of that uh -huh. is that you just revealed the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Is that what you need? That's exactly what I need. Aww. <laughs> you keep pushing me. I know. To go there. And it worked. Um, I could have just stopped. You could have because I get one more turn after this because you completed your quest. Yeah, I know. So... Well, hopefully that helps you. Well, you can exhaust yourself and, and go down to the inn and then do your... Well, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, because I can't really fight anybody, you know? I'll just go down here. I'll go down there. I will... Well, you have to do your cleanup if you're going to stay, or you could buy something. Yeah, I have to resolve. Mm, nothing. Or exhaust yourself again. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would do. On one of your resolves. Exhaust myself again? Are you on, like, on one of my things? On your resolve cards. What, to, to like, get... buy something? Yeah. Because I have two. You can get, like, a point. All right, I'll spend these two resolves plus one because I'm going to heal them anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Exactly. And I will take just one of those threes. Like, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, that works. All right. Yep. And now you clean up. Back, back. That guy goes back. Look at all those cards I used. I know. Shush. And discard up to three. And you may retire one card. This one. My last card. All right. Well, actually, technically, I think you can reasons. actually retire actually one to... from your discard. Oh, really? Not, yeah, it's not like to... just from my hand? No, but you have to draw it first. Yeah. Actually, it might be from your hand. I'm pretty sure it is. And I only get... Four cards because I had three. You had three wounds, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still whatever. It's nothing. But all right, that's it. Your turn. Okay. No, it mean, can be. It can be from your discard pile. Can it be this card? Because I'd really um, like to discard that Well, that, that would one. have happened at rest, and you you would already have shuffled. My bow of bane. Yeah, I think you can do that. You can get rid of it because it's in your hero how area. Doing that? It could yeah. be anything in your hero area, yeah. basically. All right, I'm done. So okay. That's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, so I've got a lot of things to do here. So I'm gonna move here to the battlefield, and then in the battlefield I need to spend four combat, which is I don't even know if I can do that. Just exhaust yourself. <laughs> I am pretty exhausted. <laughs> I'm going to use my Amulet of Power with my book to charge it. I'm going to use Magic Missile with some exhaustion, and that'll give me four. Okay. So that'll complete the Shields of the Lost, and I receive the Fist Token of Strength, and I may move to a Haven location if I want to end my turn there. You probably don't. Um... Unless you think you do. I do. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move here. 
and I'm going to end my turn because there's not. I, I won't be able to get able to, to that location. So yeah. I think to maximize. Well, at least you got that other one. My points. Well, yeah, and I've no. got actually. Now that I'm in Haven, I'm going to spend these two, and I have one, two, three, four. I could spend one more. Actually, I could spend two more of these to give me four. Mm -hmm. To buy a card, and I really don't care what it is because it's going to go on my discard. Yeah. And then I'm going to rest, and now I have six, so I'm at max mm -hmm. damage. These are all going to go on my discard. But you get to exhaust it. Except for that. Yep, and then I go to draw, so I'll draw up. I'm at six, I get three cards. At six wounds, you just can't attack, which is pretty funny. Mm -hmm. um, but I get to retire a card, and I will retire this blink, which is the most points I could possibly get. All right. So there's my hand, but that's it. So okay. we are ready for end game scoring, and uh, we'll that's show it. you how that works. All right, so for scoring, it's very simple. You're going to take everything in your player area, right? Your deck, your discard, your hand, everything you have here. And we are basically going to score the left column of the numbers, right? So most of it's going to be zero. So I've got two points so far. Yep, so do I. All right, and now we're going to take our chronicle, mm -hmm. the chronicler. The Chronicler. The Chronicler, oh, yes. Someday, maybe. One day. And we are now going to score everything on the right side, plus the value of all your monster tokens. And this will give you your total score. Okay. All right. What are you thinking? Um, 32, 33, 34. I have 29. Wow. Close. That's close. Well, it was that one quest. It mark, was really. one quest because yeah. that would have been 35 points. Yeah. Had I finished that yeah. one. That's one good. more turn. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good game. All right. Yeah. Let's go talk about it. Okay. All right. All right, there you have it. Mistfall Chronicles of Frost. All right, we made it out. We did. And we almost finished our quest. Well, I, I finished almost my did. quest. You did. I was just shy. I got kind of lucky. You did. Yours all kind of like fell in place. Mine did you. fall right into place, but I also I gathered the, the right kind of things, I think. Played okay. quickly. Yeah. You have to play this one quick. It is. It's I think that's what we've game. learned. Yes. So... Uh, but anyway, let's get into it. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of variability with this game, just because the quests and things are going to change every time. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, so how does that add to replayability? All right. So if you think about it, right, just take the setup as we always do. Mm -hmm. And you've got a multitude of character classes, right? So you've right. got a whole bunch of different characters you can be, which all have their own unique starting decks, their own unique starting mm -hmm. skill token. Um, so it's going to sort of guide you on your build. Right. And you're not really restricted to it, but I think it, it's beneficial to do that, at least from yeah. the start. Um, you've got the two uh, advanced fate decks, uh, the cheap and the expensive one. So mm -hmm. those are going to be randomized every game, so they'll, they'll be uh, different. And your hirelings will be different, too. Well, no, they're always the same. Oh. <laughs> and your locations oh. will be different every time. So other than the, uh, the Hearthfire Inn, Everything else that comes out will be will be at random from the deck. Right. So, uh, in the monster token, so you've got a lot of uh, variety there, and I think where it really hums from a, a replayability mm -hmm. standpoint is in what two different quests you've yeah, chosen. Yeah, absolutely. Because right? that's going to guide your game, yeah. like from the start, and that's that's your focus. Like right. the minute you start this game, you are going to that location, and you are trying to find the land type that mm -hmm. you need to find in order to, to achieve that other quest. And they're not related. Like no. It's not like we picked, you know, one quest and it came with these two quests. Right. Um, so that's why they kind of end up all over the board. You don't really know where you're going to end up going. Exactly. So, so that's, it's cool. Uh, so that's going to change the way your game plays every time. Yeah. Depending on the combination of quests you get. So I'd say this certainly has high replayability. Mm -hmm. And then couple that with the short play time. I was just about to say, because it plays so quickly, yep. um, this is definitely one that you could bring out and play and then like maybe even play again when yeah. you're done. You Agreed. Know? Agreed. 
very quickly. Um, all right, cool. So that said, um, who is this for? What are we talking about, like weight-wise, uh, audience? Yeah, so this, whew, if you think about it, it's 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 a light game. Well, and yes, I, I mean, not yes light no. as in super yeah. light. I mean, yeah. light as in you go in expecting a deck builder. Right. Right. Yes. Where it, you go into that mindset of where right, I need to build a deck and I'm going to cycle through my deck and I'm going right. to try to draft as many cards as but I can. But you do not have enough time in this game There's to do that. There's not enough time. And yeah. uh, and I think that that needs to be your mindset going in because mm -hmm. if you start to build a deck in this game and you take your time trying to, right. you're going to lose. Well, we did it the first time we played. Yeah. Because I was like strategically picking cards. She and was stuff. picking <laughs> cards and worried more. And about he's like the halfway cards. done his quest. And I'm doing the quest and I'm like. <laughs> You're not even done. Yeah. So the game would have ended and she would have just had cards right. in her deck, not even uh, in her chronicle, yeah. where you're going to lose. So you have to go for your quest, so you have to keep that in mind. So right. I think in the sense that there's only so many icons that you need to remember. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, the rules are very, very simple. Mm -hmm. And that's why I classify this as lighter game. Right, because yeah. it is very easy to learn. It's especially if you are familiar with the Mistfall series because yeah. it uses the same iconography, it uses the right. same heroes that you've come to know mm -hmm. from Mistfall, uh, Heart of the Mists, and Shadowscape. Like they all kind of, they all share the same heroes, the same icons, the same sort like of storyline kind of. Yeah, yeah, kind of. It's all in the same world, so it's very familiar. So it's very easy to learn this one. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, this is kind of like uh, Shadowscape light yes yeah right? exactly Shadowscape has is, is a little bit more complex i think mm -hmm. um not much but enough to where i think this is just a little bit lighter version of that so right which is good. i would agree yeah there's yeah. definitely i like that you know directing somebody to play this game for the first time it's like you can very easily say just focus on the quests yeah and that's it like you don't know there's not a lot of extra strategy there agreed um which makes it a lot later so. right and then uh, as for audience right so yeah. you're thinking all right well it's got to be i need to get this game with with people that i'm going to compete against right? right but on the kickstarter page there is a solo and cooperative <laughs> yes. mode for this game coming and right. from what i've read the solo mode is shipping with the game so it'll be there. So that mm -hmm. that just blows open, and especially with co-op, if you put right. that in there too, that just blows open the audience for this one. Yeah, for sure. Easily, I could yeah. definitely see this as a soloable game. Right. Well, there's not a lot, like there's not a ton of interaction, so like, very easily. No, yeah, there's see not. Yeah, there's no like player conflict it's here. It's just do your quests, like how it's how well and how quickly are you doing? And your I like that because points, there's no so. like there's no take that in this game. Right. It's just you are just both. You almost inadvertently help each other. Yeah, and you you're do. kind of competing for the monsters and stuff, but aside from that, you're really just yeah. focusing on your quest. You're two heroes working concurrently mm -hmm. on two different missions in the same world, which yeah. is pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Yeah. All right, so um, let's talk about theme components. So this is um, prototype. This was prototype. So yeah. I mean, the components are really good. Yeah, I would say. But <laughs> I, I, I mean, if, if this thing shipped, I'd be pretty happy with yeah. it. Yeah. Like it's 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 good enough. Like right. the cards are pretty much just like they were in Shadowscape. They mm -hmm. look almost the same. Um, but the, the monster tokens are very similar. The hero art is the same as all the other games, but it's good art. You know right, what I mean? It's very so good. there's there's a why mess with a good thing. Um, we had the the miniature. So if you happen to buy that hero pack uh, for any of the other Mistfall games, it it all it plays all well with each other. Yeah. They all work together. So it's yep. just a nice little extra to have for the game. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And so, the theme's neat too. Yeah. So. Very cool theme. The, and you know how I am about fantasy. I'm kind of like. Yeah. I, mean, I, think I get it all confused and stuff, but like it is, it is fun. It's fun, and they so. <laughs> they created a cool universe in this whole Mistfall Absolutely, world, and I yeah. think it, it and it carries through in every game. And, it, and yeah. if you appreciate that theme, then yeah, you'll you're, you'll be sold. Cool. Um, so did you have fun? Yeah, it's a fun game. It is. Okay. It's it's fun in the sense that it's it's what was the word you used? Um. I use the word satisfying. Yes. And the reason why is because um, this was again not. It, this isn't. This isn't a game that would be one that I would like pick off as like this is the game I want to play. You right. know, like out of the game store or something. Um, purely based on theme. Purely based on theme, right. and like, yeah, but yeah, pretty much just based on theme, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but mechanically, it's fun to play and it's quick. And it's like a, it's like doing a puzzle, like it's like doing a small puzzle kind of. Um, so you sit down, you know, you play for forty five minutes or however long, and you're ready to kind of like like it's not burning your brain getting through it, but it's just enough to be like, okay, I feel like I did something. Yeah. And now I can move on and do something yeah, you else. You have you know? this 
bite-sized adventure. That's exactly what it's like. And these yeah. miniature, you know, quests yeah. that are fairly easy to complete, mm -hmm. but, you know, in, in the minimal amount of time. And you're really right. trying to get the maximum value out of your hand. Yes. You know, by triggering some extra draws, right. by exerting yourself a little bit. And, you know, it's just, it feels like you're going. As long as you pay attention to the flavor text, as long as you really yeah. kind of get into the quest Get mode. into the story a little bit. Like, yeah. let yourself, it's uh, like equatable to, like, sitting down and, like, watching... I don't know, like a show or something. Yeah, like, yeah, a, short yeah. like a short little fantasy little show thing. where you're kind of living through a quest and you're following your hero through it. Right. You know, it's not so focused on the combat because it's and very And then it's done. Like, easy. there's closure yeah. at the end of it. Like, you know. Yeah, when you complete it, on. you're done. It's, it's good. When the quests yeah. end, the game ends. Like, yeah. that, the timing is right. So, so it's a very feel-good game, I think. Yeah. So, oh, okay. yeah, it's very cool. A lot of fun. Um, uh, we can compare this. So, we already kind of talked about Shadowscape. Yeah, And we similar. talked about this being kind of like Shadowscape Light. Yeah, I think so. That sort of thing. Um, any other comments you want to make on that? No, I think I, I think that pretty much says yeah. it all. I mean, you I saw so you saw the playthrough and you see what's involved. It's it's definitely a lighter, mm -hmm. quick version. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's a good way to get your fix of the Mistfall universe. universe without devoting a couple of hours to exactly. it. Exactly. Right? Yes. So if you Going want to back spend to previous point. two so. to three hours in a really long, drawn out campaignish game, which a lot of people like to do, yeah. you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Then you know, then you pull out, you know. Um, the original Mistfall, Heart of the Mist, and you and you get into a full, a full sit down playthrough with a full right. true deck building and character development, and all that stuff. But right. if you want to just grab one of the heroes, get him out to the table, bang, this is what yeah. you do. Okay, cool. Um, so expectations, um, and you I'm know, curious where your expectations yeah, are with so this I, because we have I, played like Shadows. We have, we have, and I, I've read. From what I've read, you know, it said it's a light, quick game to get into the Miss Fall series, and and it's exactly what I yeah. hoped it would be, and it gave me just enough meat mm -hmm. to leave me satisfied. Yeah. Um, and I think you know when it when we got through it and got to the end, I was like, all right, that was like the perfect amount of time for yeah. what I expected this to be. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a a light game that took an hour and a half for two of us to get through, which I've seen right. some of those. And you know, well, and that's painful. Yeah, and you're, and you're kind of like, like, wow, this game is never going to end. Right. Where, you know, you've got these missions, and I'm like, are these really going to be that hard to do? And they weren't. Right. Which is good because I yeah. wanted them to be attainable because they're right. like, one's got three parts. I'm like, God, am I going to have? Well, to again, spend it's like it's satisfying. Time? It's like sometimes you want to go into a game where you're like, you have anxiety going into it because mm -hmm. that's that's what you're doing and the entire time you're just you know being punished yeah and um you know and then you feel good when it's done this is kind of like you go in like okay can i do it and then once you start actually attaining them mm -hmm. fairly simply you know with your strategy paying off and stuff right. you know it feels good so yeah and and, yeah. and the location the monsters don't punish you so this isn't a game where you're just being punished by the game right uh every turn right You've got your rest actions, which always reward you. You've yeah. got, you know, your discovery actions, which reward you. Like well, you get, and it's kind you're of like, rewarded a lot. Even if you, like, and we didn't have to do this, but you know, even if you're in a situation where like you you just can't do anything because you're so hurt, mm -hmm. you just go back to the end. Yeah, you wait, you spend your turn, <laughs> spend your turn, go to, to rest. the end, rest it off, and you're back in business. It yeah. doesn't cripple you for the game. You're giving right. up a turn, but you're not stuck, mm -hmm. right? So there's a lot of good things happening to you in this game, and I think that's what makes it fun. Yeah. You know, there's other games out there that are meant to punish you. Right. And sometimes you're in that mood. Uh -huh. But if you're in the mood for a lighter, not punishing game. Or if you know someone who's in the mood for a lighter, non punishing game. Yes. Like, you know, somebody you're trying to get into gaming. Right. This, might is, be good too. this is a nice so, game. For sure. Yeah, um, all right. So let's talk about pros and cons real quick. Um, pros, I think we've kind of gone over the fact that it's quick. Yeah. It's light. Um, it's palatable. Mm -hmm. And satisfying. Yes. I feel like I'm hungry, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but, no, but it was good. No, that was good. It was um, definitely, yeah. Those, those all those kinds of things. Anything that, that um, anything you're critical about or things you'd like to see be done differently? Mm, that's because I'm, I'm yeah, struggling. Yeah, because through anything. the playthrough, I'm like, yeah, I'm, there wasn't anything I really was like, man, I wish this was kind of different. Mm -hmm. I think I think the con right now is that there is there is no solo or co-op mode right now right right that's the big con but it's coming so right. i think that that kind of outweighs it mm -hmm. um i guess i kind of felt this way with shadowscape 2 like the skill cards are a little bland they're just icons right yeah i would have loved to see because the art is so good in this series uh -huh. i would have loved to see each of those cards those fake cards like really have their out. own sort of unique art i right? would too i'm glad the weapon and item cards had it uh-huh 
but I think the skill cards would have been really cool had they had some. I think so too. That just a little lovely. bit of flair. Not that it's yeah. the worst thing. Right. It's just if you had to pick a con, that'd be one that I would do. Right. That's yeah. about the only con I can come up with. Yeah. The only thing I was thinking is like like some kind of like play mat or something like that. Where you for your can area. Out the cards because it is a I mean and this is like really reaching for mm -hmm. a con, but um like it can be hard to see like what location you need to go to cuz your central location you're in isn't uh, like yeah. it's not like it stands out like this is the center of the board. Yeah. Um so I guess like you can get stuck. Like sort of like the one we had with Tiny Epic exactly, Quest. Exactly. Like that right, kind of huge right, play map right. where it already has the grid laid out for uh -huh. you and you just place the cards. Like if they it. had that, I would get it. Probably. Like, it yeah, it's not game. like it needs to come with the game, but if they had that, like definitely I think that would That would be cool. Completely that would completely um, take it right. up to, now, like, top tier. Mind you, we're but. stretching for cons. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> we really like it. <laughs> All right. So um, so that's it. Anything else you want to say? No. Um, I think it's, it's on Kickstarter. Currently on Kickstarter. There's about today. two weeks. Two I think weeks it's like 13 today, days yeah. or 14 days left. Uh, so there's two more weeks to it. Uh, I think it's fairly inexpensive. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's already funded. Yeah. Uh, it's already well funded. So yeah. it's definitely going to deliver. And, and, and uh, these guys always deliver. So okay. I wouldn't even worry about this coming out. So... Um, so there you go, uh, Chronicles of Frost, hope you enjoyed the playthrough and the review, and we'll see you next time. See ya!